Is my degree from the United States going to be accepted? Or what can I do with it with a degree from the United States as an international student? It's an important question. We get it a lot and I want to dedicate this video to explaining the four ways how you can use your bachelor's or master's degree after you got it. Let's get right into it. Option number one. If you have a degree, let's say a bachelor's degree, of course you could do the next level up, the next degree after would be the master's degree. The special thing is that even if your bachelor's degree is from a slightly different subject, you could still do your master's degree um, in, another, in another subject. There's, there's a lot of fluidity and flexibility within the United States. Just keep in mind a bachelor's degree from the United States leads, it's, is the perfect foundation, if you will, or the underblock if you want to do a master's degree in the US. Obvious, it's number one. Let's get to number two. With any degree from the United States that you get as an international student, whether being a bachelor's or master's, you can then apply and get a job and work in the United States and contribute, be part of the economy. It's something that you cannot do while you study. There are other videos about it, but just to, to reiterate, while you study on an F1 student visa, you are not allowed to work off campus. You cannot make money. That's, that changes when you get a degree, you have a, a little work permit that allows you to, um, depending on, on your major, work from one to three years in the US. Option number three, you can say, you know what, I had an amazing time as an international student studying in the US, but I now want to take it and go back to my home country and then pursue my Option number three, my master's degree in your home country. That's something you, the only dynamic you want to keep in mind here is it's, it's a little bit and just a little bit more rigid. It's not, you, you got to watch out, especially for, for law or medicine. If you study law or medicine in the United States and then you go for option three, transferring it to your home country, keep in mind you have studied in a different country in a different legal system, in a little in a different ethical system when it comes to medicine. So you might want to check pre prior to, to trying to uh, get your degree accepted in the US, uh, in, in your home country from, from, from the US, whether it's going to be accepted or whether you have to do one, two, three um, additional classes. But again, I want to stress this super importantly. There's so much wrong information out there, so I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to, Make, want to make, make sure that this sinks in with you. It's only for medicine and law. If you study humanities, business, um, sciences, the arts, languages, of course, those will be accepted no matter what. We are talking about the same thing. Whether you study business in your home country or business in the, in, in the US and then want to study something on top in your home country, there's often a benefit even, which is why people go study in the United States in the first place, because subjects like psychology, business, our two top, top subjects or top majors, they even come with a boost because the, the credibility perceived by other countries that the US brings with those subjects um, is increased. So not only will they be accepted, but they will be, you, you will be looked up higher upon, especially because in psychology, there's a lot of bleeding edge innovation on, and research coming from the US. So it's assumed that when you have studied there, you're going to bring more of that fresh knowledge with you. So there's going to be an added benefit to it. And then step number four, which was my way, is I got my degree from the US and then took it back to my home country to work, to apply for a job. You can, you can, you know, the world is your oyster. You can, you can study in the US and then go anywhere. If it's your home country, maybe it's a third completely different country that you've never been to. Um, most international employers value an international degree because they know they can fly you around. And this is what happened to me. It's, an, it's another added benefit that, that you get, especially for international companies, because they can see that you bring an international profile to the table. So for example, my bachelor's degree from the US for the multinational that I've worked after was worth for them as much as a master's degree in Germany. So even though I only had a bachelor's degree or still only have a bachelor's degree from the US, I got the same salary, same position, 
that this company would usually only give to master's graduates. So that's a big advantage um, that you should keep in mind and also own it. Don't make yourself small. It doesn't, you don't really do yourself or the employer that you want to work for an advantage if they are only locally based. If they don't get and they don't see the value that you bring with your international degree because they're all like selling from one city to another in your respective country, they might not get it. They might not appreciate it. They might not reward you for it as much, financially speaking. So just keep that in mind that if somebody re rejects you because they, if somebody re rejects you, it may be because your, your profile is too high, because you're, you're too good, you're overqualified. You may, they may per perceive you as coming with higher salary expectations than somebody more normal. Duh, you can obviously deserve more. And with that, again, if you get a rejection, it's probably a, it's probably some, it's probably a sign that you may not um, be the right candidate for that position anyway. And then look for something bigger, look for something more international. If all that interests you, or if, I'm still, if I still wasn't able to answer some of your specific questions, we are happy to talk to you. My team is currently offering three uh, free consultation calls. So under this video, there's going to be a link where that you can click um, to, to sign up for a free consultation, have all your questions answered on the phone. Like and subscribe this, also like this video and subscribe this channel if you feel like I just want to get more information as well before I talk to anyone. In either way, we're looking forward to hearing from you very soon. I wish you all the best, all, all the best, all the blessed, be blessed, and until, until soon. Bye-bye.